Welcome to the channel. In this video, I am very excited to share with you this brand new, very very tiny, smallish, teeny tiny model called as Small LM. This model is just of 135 million parameters. It can even fit on your hand. So you can run this model anywhere you like on any device. So in this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will also test it out on view of the benchmarks. And it is really good to see that there is an increasing interest in small language models that can operate on local devices. This trend involves techniques such as distillation or quantization to compress large models as well as training small models from scratch on larger data sets. Due to this, we are seeing and observing new and novel applications while dramatically reducing inference costs and improving user privacy. We already have covered on the channel models like Phi series, Unto, which was less than 2 billion, and also we covered Meta's mobile LLM, and they all showed us that small models can achieve quite an impressive results when designed and trained thoughtfully. That is where small LM also shines. It is a series of state-of-the-art small language models available in three sizes, 135 million, 360 million, and 1.7 billion parameters. These models are built on a meticulously curated high-quality training corpus, and they also have released a corpus, by the way, which you can access it from this Hugging Face model card, and I'm going to drop the link to it in video's description. Before I go into more detail, let me give a huge shout out to Master Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description and I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. Coming back to the model, this model corpus includes things like Cosmopedia version 2 which is a collection of synthetic textbooks and stories generated by Mixtrol. It also includes Python HU, which includes Python samples, and then we have Fine Web HU. So quite a good data set. Other than the data, if you look at some of the benchmark information and their testing, that is quite impressive too. For example, you can see in this table that small LM models have outperformed other models in their size categories across a diverse range of benchmarks, which includes testing common sense reasoning and world knowledge. So you can also check out more detail in their data set where they have shown a lot of good example as uh, what sort of data corpus they used and then how they generated it and a lot of good information is there and that is what I really love that they have been very very transparent. Okay so now we know about the model we know about its benchmarking so let's go to my local terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I am using one GPU card of 48 GB of VRAM, but for this model, I think it should be good even with um, 4 GB of VRAM or even CPU. Should not, but make sure you have a good memory around maybe 16 to 32 gig. Let's clear the screen and let's first install our Conda environment to keep everything separate and simple. And then we will launch our Jupyter notebook to install everything else. So Conda is there. Let's install some of the libraries like transformers upgraded version and maybe torch and accelerate let's wait for it to finish that is going to take a couple of minutes prerequisites are done let's now install conda notebook and then launch it in the browser let's wait for it to get launched so our notebook is launched let's grab the model so first I'm importing this auto tokenizer and auto model and then I'm giving it the model's name from the hugging face repo and then because I have GPU so I am specifying CUDA if you are using CPU just put CPU here and it should be good let me run it and there you go so it just took a fraction of a second and it has uh, migrated it it's all good I think model is also downloaded or, or so we have just downloaded the to tokenizer for now let's also grab our model and in order to download the model all you need to do is to give this command where we are downloading the model from this checkpoint also if you are running multi-gpu 
then just put this device map to auto and that will use the multi gpu but you don't need multi gpu for this small model and look at the size of the model just 538 meg and while i was talking it already finished downloading it okay so model is there let's do some inference with it for that let me give the input uh, token so i'm just going to give it this let's see what it does here and i'm using the tokenizer to tokenize it and then i'm using this model to generate the output and we are decoding it back and displaying it and there you go so model has very nicely printed it so it has done the code completion by the way here okay so now let's test it out on few of the interesting prompts okay so in the next one i'm asking it to write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty i have also increased the temperature to make it more creative and i have set the max new tokens which will make sure that it grabs everything 1024 so let's run it model has come back with the response and you see here because it is not a fine-tuned or instruction tuned model it's a base model but still it was able to put together some of the um, incoherent text now let's try to guide the model as per the prompt uh, guidance they have given in their model page so instead of this what i'm going to do i'm just going to maybe call it prompt and i'm going to use this as a variable and i will sorry uh, it's this notebook let me go down stay down and then prompt here is equal to now that's much better so we can replace it with our own uh, later down the road okay cool so now you can see what i'm saying here is here is an extract from a web page that happiness is a state of blah 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 and then i'm talking about the happiness here i have just given it few lines just to tell it about happiness and i'm guiding the model write an informative and insightful blog post that expands upon the extract above within the context of happiness and then i'm giving it a bit more guidance that uh, the post should delve into the nuances of the topic it should be inform engaging and illustrating let's run it to see if this time this base model follows it and what it does let's wait for it to come back and there you go so the model has followed the instructions but because it is a base model it is uh, it is supposed to provide the gibberish but the good thing is that it is it has tried to write something out of it and then it is staying to the topic like blog will make it this great time activity and all that stuff so what it shows us that when you will fine tune this model on your own custom data set and you will make it instruction tuned the performance will be quite good so very impressed by this model especially uh, you see that it was able to do the coding its english prose is coherent so as long as we fine tune it on our own data set which i'll make another video to show you i think this should be a really stellar model and really good to see that how quickly it was able to follow the instructions here even without any fine tuning or instruction tuning let's quickly give it a math problem just to see how it performs so i have just given it a simple math equation the correct answer is 20 but i'm not sure if it is math aware but let's see should be interesting and there you go so answer is totally wrong but the thing which really i am interested to see what it is doing it it is trying to think logically which is a main thing i really want from my base models so really good stuff um i think looking at the size of the model which is just 135 million parameter and then it's potential for fine tuning i think this could be uh, real good stuff soon anyway uh, let me know what do you think about the model if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching